it doesn't sound very good. Uh, God does not come to these churches with a message, wonderful job, great job, you're such holy people, I love your praise and worship music, I love how you tell everyone at Christmas that it's all about the birth, um, about, it's all about Jesus, even though I don't believe it, but uh, I love how you do that. I love how you put Halloween in church because... You know, you just had such rotten neighbors that you had to you had to get the kids off the street because of all your your perverted neighbors that you lived around. Uh, I just love how you teach a no law theology that the law has been abolished, been nailed to the cross, has been fulfilled. I just love how you have made salvation the death of my son, who suffered, bled, and died an excruciating death, so easy. All, you know, all heads bowed. Now, if you accept Jesus into your heart, just raise your hand. I just love how you've done that. I love how you have a, you know, maybe a Sunday worship, 45 minutes, and then it's out the door, back to business as usual. I just look, you know, so I'm, I, no, God doesn't come to these churches with a, a message of encouragement. He has correction for each church. So I'm asking, what are you getting at church and why do you go to church? Again, God never sent an Old Testament prophet to Israel to tell them how good they were living. You must be getting something out of church. In fact, you must be getting the exact opposite at church. You must be getting, you know, instead of correction, rebuke, and instruction and doctrine, you must be getting... A feel-good theology, you know, there's, there's nothing you must do. I mean, you're saved, sanctified, and heaven-bound, and, and God just wants to bless you. He just wants to give you that three-car garage and send me your seed donation. You know, you give me your money, and somehow you'll get wealthier, which doesn't make a bit of sense, by the way. Never have figured that one out. You know, why people can't put two and two together and figure that one out, what it equals. But um, anyway... So why, I'm asking the question, why do you go to church? Now let's consider something Jesus said in Luke, 14, Luke 11 and verse 49. Therefore are also said the wisdom of God, I will send them prophets and apostles, and some of them they shall slay and persecute, that the blood of all the prophets which was shed from the foundation of the world, may be required of this generation. Why? And let me tell you something. They hated the messenger boy. They hated the messenger boy because the messenger boy came with a message that was not the kind of message they were expecting. There came a day when Jesus wept over Jerusalem. This is found in Luke 13, verse 34. He said, O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, which kills the prophets and stones them that are sent unto thee. Notice this. Notice what you do. You stone, I send you prophets and you kill them. How often I would have gathered thy children together as a hen does gather her brood under her wings, but you would not have it. Are we any different? Are we any, any different? Now, maybe we don't kill the messenger, boy, we just choose another church that makes us feel good. We don't kill the prophets. We just choose a church that has no truth. You know, and if that describes you, if you're one of these pea brain people that just go from, you get offended at every church you go to, and you just keep choosing churches because you, someone offended you, so someone said something that you didn't like, you are a pathetic loser if that describes you. Check us out on the web at is that really in the Bible dot com?